So this is a reminder. Uh, welcome to Chasing Cancellara episode three. This is a pay-per-view fight, uh, but it's very simple. The fee is you go to veloguide.com, you sign up for a free account, uh, and then you go check out my, there's a No Kid Hungry link at the bottom of this thing or on my social, you can find it. Uh, learn what they're about. So get a free account at veloguide.com, be a guide, be a guidee, a guider, um, and then chip in if you can, learn about it and think about it, and uh, that would be super awesome. Thank you. My name is Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years, but at the end of 2016, I realized that I had to quit racing and get a job. I couldn't be the best at pro cycling, so I've decided to be the absolute worst at retiring. So we are, we are here, we are in Olan, Switzerland. Olan, I think. Um, so we're like an hour and a half from Geneva, up the hill from Eigel. We're in like ski country and there's some sweet Alps. Um, we're, here, we're here to race Cancellara. This is, this is it. Folks, this is the thing that I've been preparing for for way too long and way too seriously. Um, we have brought a, uh, we've brought my support crew. That's Chef Jeff Mahan. Uh, that's my cookie chef. He also is a super ridiculously fast bike rider. I don't say this about a lot of people. He absolutely would have been world tour if he had like started when he was 12 or something. But instead he owns a bunch of restaurants and he drives a much nicer car than anyone I know in the world tour. Um, and that is Natasha. Uh, that is my girlfriend. She she mentioned that she was was she was thinking about going on a vacation when this whole thing started, and I was like, "You want to go to Switzerland?" And then now she's stuck here on the sidelines of this war. But uh, but right now it's peaceful, and we're going for a little we're going for a little recon, and we're just gonna cruise around the neighborhood. As you guys probably know, the Swiss Alps are beautiful. We got we got some views. This is Jeff got super excited about this a second ago. He's shy about it now, but he said this is hand planed wood. This is this is look at that, look at that. There's also mountains, um, and then there's cows, and there's a lot of when when they say when they say more cowbell, the people who live there get super pissed. They don't think that's funny at all, because uh, there's way too much cowbell and it drives them insane. Um, Natasha has a bell. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's bridging the gap. Yeah. There's a cowbell and a bike bell. So this is the this is like the flyer they gave me. Um, so this is it's confidential. Um, so to turn the camera off. No, it's not confidential anymore. It's fine. Basically, the, here's the whole here's the whole fondo. Bunch of hills, and then at uh, at kilometer is that kilometer or mile? That's kilometer 61. kilometer sixty one is where our race starts. So it's, oh, it is 7%, 6.9%, .9%, uh, just from there to there. So just, this is all friendly, and this is this is the fight. So so your job, Jeff, your, your role here, um, will be just to kind of keep me out of the wind. I don't know what's gonna go on. I don't know if there's gonna be attacks, or, um, or really what, but, uh, but just in case, like you're gonna be there to shut things down and to keep an eye on stuff, and you know if I flat or whatever, and you gotta chase me back on, like I don't know what's gonna happen here. Okay. Don't know how aggressive it's gonna be. Little eat. nature break. Yeah. If I have to pee, you get me back into that group, That's and fair. you know that I will. And Fabian, he doesn't have to pee. He can hold it. He is. That's He's a, a champion. A champion. Two-time Olympian. Right. Yeah. They don't have to stop for that. Okay. So uh, us mortals have to pee. So we also we also got a course map. So here's all mm. the turns and where the climbs start. And then that's the course. Huh. It's an interesting looking course. The course even looks like a dick. So it starts it starts in Eigel at the UCI building, which is just God, that's funny given the whole history of this thing. Um, and then it finishes right here. It's a so there's downhill and it's gonna finish right in the town where we're staying at. But uh, when you zoom out from that angle it, it looks more like a dick. Here is the sex route. Could <laughs> it be more perfect than it looks like a dick? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little show and tell here. Um, the first thing is we had these posters made. Initially, I just made them for the internet, but then people liked them. Uh, so we have these, the, the Chasing Spartacus event poster, uh, the greatest race in history, epically supporting charity. And uh, it's, you know, I'm talking about Velo Guide down there, the YouTube thing. But uh, so, so Laura Fletcher made these 
and uh, and then we decided to, to basically the deal was I'll I'll sign them and we'll give him 50 and I'll sell 50 and he'll sell 50 of the good art charities and I'm gonna leave them at Fabian's hotel with a polite note saying please sign these sir um, also when we leave that we're gonna leave a, uh, a peace offering which are cookies this is really a peace offering from Jeff um, I just don't want him to hurt my friend yeah he wants to keep me safe and cookies are a quality bribe um, but there's there's eight very heavy dense high quality cookies in here and they're packed uh, like a Fabergé egg and then we also have the uh, the team Phil supporter t-shirts which we had made this is a photo of when Fabian's last race uh, was it at Perry Roubaix and he, he crashed on the velodrome so I thought it'd be funny to have the team supporter shirts um, my, my buddy started making these but the supporter shirts were a picture of him crashing um, and uh, of course there was no they couldn't get the rights to that photo so they had a cartoon guy my, my friend at a quiet bird made these um, he also made a one of, of me crashing at Roubaix because you, you haven't raced Roubaix if you haven't crashed Roubaix um, and it's just team Phil quality New Balance shirts, so we're also selling these for charity. Um, I thought you were finding cookies. But you guys you get these for free. Um, yeah, the one that I crashed, a quiet bird got a little creative, when he, and it's, he just shows me like with my bike laying there just picking up a cookie as if that's the only reason I crashed. That's not why I crashed, I cooked that turn hard. I, I had a concern when I came here, which when, when this whole thing started, when it was real ugly and angry for a while, people were, I was getting a lot of hate mail, um, and I got a couple that went, past the hate mail and into the kind of death threat category, uh, which is weird. That's but when you know you've made it though. When you death get death threats, threats yeah. I'm gonna kill you. Congratulations. I've made it. Um, so, it's on video now. So, and it, occur, it occurred to me like, th those probably weren't, there weren't credible death threats, but it's also, I'm gonna be in Fabian Cancellara's territory. So like if the people who want to kill me are anywhere, they're at his event. So what I did was um, I realized I was gonna be around a cluster of, of his people. Um, so I got a disguise. I got the, the fuzzy puss um, glasses with the nose on it. Um, so I'm gonna try that on. Have you seen Phil? Where'd he go? So now I'm safe handsome. from the rabid Cancellara fans when I'm walking around. I lost it. Shit, now everybody tell it's me. I need to find some glue, but then I'll be safe. But I'll wear this, I'll be wearing this around uh, Vilar's this week. You guys seen a guy named Phil? Total jerk. I don't know where he had. You seen Down the street, I think. No? We'll find him. He's just been acting different lately. Yo, was somebody looking for me? A weird, scary guy? With a mustache? Yeah. Super handsome. <laughs> so, I am Philippe. I don't know what happened to Phil. Um, but, uh, but Philippe really likes cookies and he saw a cookie deli. Uh, so we try the cookie deli, huh? We see, I mean, I don't know, maybe cookie's okay. Cookies could be okay. Philippe doesn't like cookies. It's too sweet, huh? It's too sweet. Who would eat so much? It's disgusting. Let me try. What do I mean? Hmm? Nothing I'm allergic to. Cookies. What is it with, with this, this Phil character? He loves the cookies so much. It's strange. You know, rock. You know who I wish was here right now? The Rock. No, Phil. He loves I know. Cookies. That's true. Welcome, you're great, but you're a bit boring. You know, I'll see you guys later. When so he's gone. Um, mm. So we're smelt funny too. Yo, I heard some dude was hanging out with my friends and eating my cookies. Yeah, okay, he didn't What's like cookies. What's going on here? So glad you're I'll real. kick his ass. Where is he? Oh, so weird. You picked enough fights for the week. <laughs> so one of the big things in Switzerland is is watches. Uh, the Swiss watch is a known deal. They have they have watches, they have uh, army knives, and they have cheese. Those are the things. So we've made fun of the first two, um, and now the the watches. So Fabian has a watch partner. It's one of the, I don't know what it is. IWC. Um, the, mm, I didn't want to plug them. They didn't pay oh. me. So I posted on the internet at some point. I was like, 
hey, he has a watch sponsor, I need a watch sponsor, who's got me covered? And so that was when these guys came up. So this is a, a Weiss watch. Um, it is. It has Swiss movement, because I think you have to if you're a watch nerd. But uh, they're made in Los Angeles. This is just a loaner. They like give them to celebrities for events and stuff. That was that was what they said. So I'm, it's clear I'm not allowed to keep this unless you guys buy a bunch of them and tell them it's because of me. I thought that was right nice of them to let me borrow that watch. So now I'm wearing it and sweating on it. Do you know how many celebrities after you will wear it and know about your sweat? That's the other thing. At some point, like Dempsey's you're now a wearing part this, of the he's like, ugh. Phil no, they, is here. <laughs> the other that's the other the other move is is they don't want it back because they saw how much I sweat in it in a video. Uh, but you know what? It's game worn. It's a field watch. It's not yeah. one of those fancy Swiss watches you got to wear for special occasions with your tuxedo. Um, all right, let's go. This back. is your tuxedo. This is yeah. This is my uh, this is exactly. Yeah. This is my work suit. The climb starts right there. It's a hard run in. Like it's uphill for a while getting into the climb. It's one of those. This is just sort of the end of the climb climbs. Yeah. But uh, it's punching. But the that's the start. There's a little bicycle thing. Yeah. It's, so it's it goes steep and then like. At the like at the very end, like 800 meters to go, it plateaus, and the last like 150, it kicks. Definitely don't want to be with Cancellara at that 150, because uh, that would be what we refer to as a sprint. Yeah, not my thing. Mistake. So I need to leave him before the plateau, somehow. I think you go hard right in the beginning. That's I think I go hard at the beginning. I think I go hard in the middle. Then I go harder at the end. Yeah. But I, I don't think I ever not go hard. Um, all right, but let's uh, do a little opener. We we'll get the we do we, we do it. We get the legs spinning. You know, I've been I've been rested. I've tapered, and now we we, we get them cobwebs out. These old pins. Um, so we'll do an effort on the climb, and then uh, we'll go back to the hotel and and maybe some fondue. Hmm. Let's do it. All right. We did our efforts. That's the top. Um, I feel pretty good. Altitude's real. Uh, I started pacing at 500 watts and that turned into 420 real quick. It's interesting that it's interesting because it's like it's flat and it kicks, it's flat and it kicks. Like I could see places where he could catch me. I could see places where I could hurt him and I could see places where he comes back if it goes that way. Um, I could also see places where he just rides me off entirely and I don't see him again. Um, it'll be cool. This is going to be fun. So the, the race is tomorrow. We're having a little post ride coffee. Um, and I'm just looking at, at the social media as I do. And Fabian has watched all of my story. Like I have a very involved, long, obnoxious story and he's seen every, he hasn't responded, there's been no interaction. He's watching me. Safe to say he's not riding his bike, he's just watching He's definitely story. not training, that's for sure. He's just, he's just, what's Phil doing? I'm in his head. All right, so we're going in, there's a VIP ride. We're gonna meet him. We have our, our cookie offering. I'm kind of nervous. I'm nervous. Everyone here is staring me down. This is like a security force. Are you going to keep your helmet on? I probably need my helmet, yeah. Did you have cookies for me? I do. You do. Hey? Yes, sir. Finally, we met. <laughs> Damn, that's a big one. There's, there's eight of them, so we can get some. Did you did did they allow you to sh to come over with that? Yeah, we were quiet about it. They're packaged well. Fuck, that's um, a big one. Yeah, yeah. You could share it if you want to share it. You know. Damn. Uh, stay lean for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I had only a bar now to stay lean. Right, smart. Because I have a bit few kilos more than you. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been eating a lot of fun, dude. So it's yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah. But that's hey. A that's a nice. That's, that's a classic. That's this guy. That's Jeff. Hey, Jeff. This is my domestique. You domestique. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. All right. <laughs> Looking forward to. Yeah. I mean, a little mess around, uh, right? For downhill is good. For down, yes. Yeah, that's a downhill cookie. Yep. All right. We're getting ready here. The uh, the ride starts a little bit. Um, the start the start is at the uh, oh, we're at the UCI building. We're at the UCI building. Okay, I think it's is it going to be a good ride today. 
All right, let's get out of here. So Castelli made the special Velo Guide Edition suits uh, for this race. There's a speed suit that they they did send me a speed suit. Uh, I opted for the San Remo suit because uh, this is a Fondo. I'm gonna need my pockets. I don't know how much we're gonna stop. Um, and then the uh, and I thought it was kind of funny because uh, Fabian won Milan San Remo, uh, so he had the San Remo suit. And then I have my old gloves from the from the good old days. The green Argyle going strong. Ooh, and the speed socks. Speed cookie socks are, uh, are a big Instagram hit. So uh, not wearing a Phil supporter t-shirt, but definitely a Phil supporter is Joel here from Velo Guide, CEO founder of Velo Guide. Um, we're here at the start. This is, this is uh, very much because of uh, Joel and these guys. So thank you, sir. Thank you, and good luck kick some ass. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> it's gonna be a quick climb. Yeah. 13 minutes? Something like that. Yeah. Hopefully. How much kilometers do you have on total? This, uh, this year? Yeah. Uh, 8,000? 8. 9,000? Something like that? Street Not that much. Not but you call them quality kilometers? Sometimes. <laughs> Not, not, not that much. Not like I yeah? used to. Yeah. How come? How come? I know, I'm busy. Yeah, that, we're retired. You see, yeah. that's, we're retired. that's what, what people... You still try to, No, listen guys. My world is like not professional cycling. So, I am out of the game. So, it's not... It's train... I mean, you have still some other competitions. Yeah, yeah. It's license and then people say, Hey, I have to search days to train or to, to do some rides to get my mentally... Yeah, yeah. I still have to ride every day. But it's... it's every day. 12 hour week. Yeah. Not, yeah, not 30 hour work. Okay. But the thing is, if you if you do one week and then you do one week nothing, that's mm -hmm. the worst thing. Yeah, well, that's part of it. Is it? It's, it's. Doesn't it suck that you're getting slower? It's very sad. <laughs> yeah, but I figure out fast. Yeah, I know. Me too. It's like so oh. I'm 90 kilo. So if you right. go up, because <laughs> I did some roasts like from like for you're preparation times and so on. Yeah. And you see, damn, you're five minutes lower on that climb. Yeah. But that's, I mean, that's fine. That's what it is, yeah. No, I'm because I want to stop for a coffee. Fine. He says it's fine. I'll get used to it. Will there be people racing all day? And no, but we, we go ride. from climb to climb. Okay. But we will, I mean, we will be... So I'll just ride with you and... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll yeah. I mean, if you... Yeah. No, but I will be. Yeah, there I will just, be, I mean, last year there was a, there was a young guy, we, because we started on the bottom, mm -hmm. And then we did just a climb, like okay. in Tour de Romandie. Mm -hmm. And there was one guy, a small one, he went like, but, but we knew it. Yeah, yeah. But on the end, I mean, there will be, we go steps to steps. Yeah. Okay. Because it's also kind of community, and I mean, exactly. and on the end, yeah, they accumulate the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, that will be, I mean, it's more than perfect. Last year was almost, was snowing. Oh, okay. Missed so that. we have, uh, now it will be a great yeah. day. So, so we did the Fondo course. We did the first uh, 60K, something like that. And then we stopped in a, in a parking lot that was the bottom of the climb. Um, I had reconned it the day before. Uh, I did some openers. I, I, did, I did a little tactical thought. Um, we, we spoke for a minute. We talked. And then, and then we went for it. We went off. Um, the, the climb, it was a very interesting climb to, to race on. Um, it was, as you can see, like I just started off. I just went for it. Frankie told me to, to go from the gun and, and sort of to me, like I wasn't gonna drop him and stick it from the gun, but I wanted to test him. So by now, like I've 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 ridden and I've and I've watched him, and he's 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 matched me, and um and 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 we're looking at each other and we're and we're wondering and thinking about it, um of. You know, it, he's trying to figure out if I'm empty and and vice versa. It's it's a cool it's a cool climb to race on. Like I wouldn't have thought that an uphill man-on-man -man race would actually be a race but but from from reconning it as I looked at the flat parts I was like man if I drop him there he catches me there and if I drop him there he catches me there and if and this this last flat bit uh, comes up in a few minutes and if he if he's still with me on that flat bit and he can sit on and it comes to a sprint in the last couple hundred meters uphill I don't see how that would ever work out well for me. You know, there were so many people back there, and it was such a sort of a mess uh, on the course with cars. I didn't know if I had five seconds on him or or if he gave up and and had five minutes. But I just sort of decided um, I, I have a gap. I don't know where he's at, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna push it all the way to the line.
I beat my best three minutes, man. I think I've never done three minutes like that. You retire better than me, Fabi. <laughs> You'd be a better at retiring. Yeah, you guys need to have like a hug. Come on. I, I want to thank you a lot for giving me this opportunity. This yeah, I mean, hey, this was really fun. I said to Armin and my all the people said, listen, I mean, you have your opinion, you have your ideas, you have your vision, but we doesn't buy each other. No, I mean, cool. talking only lawyers. Yeah. I mean, I know a lot of people there. You need to sue him. Yeah. Yeah, but you have your community. I have my community. They love you. They love me. No, we both. They love bicycle. Now they love bicycle. Exactly. Yeah. We want people we to on go that. on the bike. So I think this is. And bike industry is happy. People are happy. Sure. And no one is complaining. No, congratulations on an awesome event, and uh, best of luck for the next one. Rematch, Santa Barbara Hill Climb World Championships. Rematch, uh, rematch, rematch. We will see, but not this year. My schedule is all, all right, more than he's busy. busy. It's, he's busy. You know what the politics and cycling is? It's not maybe the best, so yeah. we may be in a good example to, hey, yeah. do something together for. Do something I mean, you have your foundation, your, your charity things, I have mine, yeah. and I think. Would you be a great president? I mean, there's people no. suffering. Uh, this, is, this is it, everybody smiling, having a nice yeah. day on the bike. So I'm suffering a bit, but that's fine. This is how it has to be. I mean, good we went between the climbs easy. People are having fun, enjoying, and now we're... Yeah. Yeah. There's a point where it flattened out, and you're on the front, and I'm staring at your butt, and I'm like, very few people have been fortunate enough to get this view of Fabi Gess. <laughs> I was completely oh, family. I was like, wow, there's like 10 guys who've seen it. It's pretty cool. You know, when it comes to this false flat, then it's good, but it's like always, without legs, yeah. without condition, I mean... No, the main thing is that I got to see it. It's not, you know, it's not what Boone and those guys were seeing, but it's, it's close. Yeah. But also, they've been in, I mean, people are trying to get across. I mean, they uh, think, I mean, you had even your own fan club on the road. They gave me a cookie with chocolate, man. I was like, damn. The cookie people are everywhere. People, you can't argue with cookies. So I'm here with uh, Phil Damon, the, the cookie man of the Swiss in Cancellara today. How was the race here in the Swiss Alps with his uh, three passes? It was it's fun, it was a beautiful ride and, uh, and, and the race was great and stuff. Uh, there was a guy with cookies and no shirt for me. Uh, so we had some we had some Phil fans at the event, which was surprising. We saw them all be the Col de Pillon. It was a feeling like uh, to be on the Tour de France and now the question. Everyone wants to know how many cookies did you eat? Today. Today none, but it, you know it's early still. They changed that. Okay, that's perfect. You enjoy it. Great to have you here. Thank you. Come on. Hey, look, a medal. Hey, for the finisher. Let's get a photo of that. So the race is done. Uh, I won. the The real winner here. We all know the real winners is is No Kid Hungry. Um, all little kids out there. I want to thank everyone who uh, who chipped in from the people who who, who are doing well and give a thousand dollars to the people who, who could only give five but still went through the time to like type the numbers into the thing and the credit card. Um, it's 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 all the same and it's all awesome and I'm I'm super proud of this very weird scenario and I appreciate uh, Fabian for uh, for for giving the opportunity to what what happened here is is his legacy was threatened by by a thing that, that I wrote that was blown out of proportion um, and and by that being blown out of proportion uh, my legacy was threatened into being suddenly to, to a, a bunch of people who'd never heard of me until now uh, there they see me and understandably so it's just like a mudslinging jerk um, and and that's not who I want to be known as as my career is over um, I'm I'm a good guy and uh, and, and here's a cool chance to, to sort of show that where he protects his legacy and I protect mine and we're just both, we both have different projects and, and we're moving forward. And, um, and, and, you know, I have my Fondo, he has his event, I have my YouTube channel and, and we, all, we all talk about it and, and kind of everybody's laughing at the end. Um, so this is for sure the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me and, um, and I'm glad it's over, but I think it was awesome and I want to thank everyone for being a part of that. And to the winner of the Grand Fondo, we have Fondue. The Grand Fondue. Et voilà, Goodbye monsieur. from Switzerland. No, oh, boo. Oh. oh, it's a cheesy mess. Oh, 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 oh. Voilà. Oh, you suck the cheese, huh?